Hey everyone, this is Danish here from Tea Break. This Abbas is Abbas. And today we are picking up the conversation about what writing devices? Note taking devices. Note taking devices yep, and that entire um, I, I would say explosion that happened yeah. in the space in 2023. Absolutely. Dedicated note taking devices that function as a note taking device first. Yep. Everything else as second. And I guess everybody wants to write notes. Yeah, yeah. because um, a lot of you saw, commented on our previous video. If you haven't seen that yet, that was the comparison between the Remarkable mm -hmm. and the Lenovo Smart Paper. Correct. Um, very, very quickly, what is the Remarkable? So Remarkable is, like we mentioned, a dedicated tablet, if you want to call it, okay. purely for note taking. Now you can use it with a pen, everything is purchased separately so it can get a little pricey we saw that uh, we said that in the video previously yep. so go ahead and check that out but more or less if you would like enjoying writing notes right especially with a pen or something along those lines it's a great device purely for that this okay. has a keyboard cover as well so you can use it with that there are a few different use case scenarios but most importantly, notes, and I guess if you like sketching and stuff like okay. that, you know, which is what my daughter takes this okay. from me for most of the time, okay. and just does that, but it's for that. Okay, so primarily for that. Yep. So that brings the conversation to the point where I always get stuck, which is that in a space where, and these things aren't cheap, we're not talking about mm -hmm. A few, uh, a few hundred dirhams. It goes into the thousands. It goes into the thousands of dirhams, mm -hmm. which is in the range of about three, four hundred dollars. We'll have prices as we go across the video. That brings me to the point which I've always stood on, which is that I would always spend that extra money on an iPad mm -hmm. or a tablet and get some sort of covering on it to give that writing feel. Sure. So to answer that question for people like me, mm -hmm. Huawei released this. Now okay. this is the Huawei MatePad Paper Mat Edition. Huawei MatePad Paper, Paper Mat, Mat Edition. edition. Okay. So the MatePad part, of course, signifies Tablets. that they are in the tablet series. Yep. But the Paper Mat Edition is all about this display. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing I absolutely love about this display is that it is a matte display. Yeah. So coming to what I was saying about the coverings. So let's say I get an iPad. Yep. One of the best uh, screen protectors you can get for it is paper-like. Got it. And what it does is creates a matte covering, mm -hmm. reduce it. Uh, Reduces the reduces glare, the glare right. and makes it an easier writing experience. Right. What Huawei here has done is just popped it right on. Gotcha. So now again, so just looking at it real yeah. quick, the first thing you notice is that as a tablet, it yeah. doesn't have the vibrant or pop colors that an iPad or even a MatePad without this. I uh, completely right. agree to that. Yeah. Um, but the the let's say the counterpoint to that yep. is that. I'm already a person mm -hmm. who knows to, who takes a lot of notes, gotcha. but wants a tablet, so I'm willing to make that sacrifice. I, I completely right? agree with you on that, because mm. given the option between that and what the Remarkable does, right. I would choose Right, Huawei because yeah. the great thing is that Huawei offers this in a regular display as well. Correct. So if, if note-taking is not a primary use for you, you go buy one of their regular tablets. Absolutely. But the paper mat part of it just creates such a nice note-taking experience. I mean, I've been using this for a while now and it is just so smooth to write on. Um, funny enough, if you remember in the previous video mm -hmm. when we were comparing e-ink display versus e-ink display, mm -hmm. we were searching for the more that gruff paper-like experience. Correct. You do not get that here, but okay. what you get is a much smoother writing experience. Okay. So like, why don't you give it a shot? Yeah, let's yeah. do that. All right, this is how I like to take notes. Right? No. No? Not no. for you? No. Not for you? Fair I enough. I mean, I can immediately tell the difference. Why don't you go ahead and take that so, and start writing? So I remember, I remember about this. Yeah. Uh, I remember this and um, I agree with you again. This is how notes are taken. Yeah. So, this I guess brings it back to that exact point which is if you're looking for that paper note writing experience, yep. the 
the remarkable absolutely still stands as the king absolutely and right? look don't get me wrong yeah. this is much better than writing on an ipad which is Definitely. super slippery Definitely. i haven't tested yeah, that paper it's... mat display that you were talking yeah. about but this is much better than that right having said that it's not as good as that fair so now i guess if we were to sort of merge our conversations from the lenovo smart paper and this mm -hmm. i think what it would kind of come down to is how, there's no perfect device. Sure. So how much are of you course. willing to sacrifice? Absolutely. So in your case, I guess you'd be like, no, I, I want a note-taking device and that's all I want. Yep. This is where it wins. Yep. Whereas for me, note-taking can never be that important gotcha. where I would end up sacrificing everything else. Because if you look at this display itself as a right. tablet, it's a great display. It's mm -hmm. 120 hertz. Uh, this thing has a 4 nanometer chipset. It's got a great battery life. Um, yeah, it's Huawei, and yes, you have the little Google issues, but hey, sure. I have Gmail like right there. So, Absolutely. Um, and at least you have Gmail. I can't get Gmail on the, not on the notable end, right? I mean, exactly. Sorry, yeah. So I could walk out the door with this device and work from it Correct. and and all that. Absolutely, Whereas yes. that is primarily yep. stuck as a, a note-taking note -taking device. device. And that I think is where the question sort of comes in. Totally agree. Look, a couple of other things that I also wanted to mention mm. real quick is, and I'm sure you can do that with the Huawei right. tablet as well, is that A, the notes you take, OCR, sync them in the cloud, access right. them anywhere, whether it's on your phone, your computer, and all of that. So you've got that aspect to it. Right. And then the second thing that I also mentioned in our previous video was mm -hmm. the constant updates that Remarkable yes. keeps pushing. Yes. The last update made it uh, made it specifically for people who are left-handed writers. So oh, they optimize it for people who amazing. use their left hand. Absolutely. So these little software tweaks keep coming up right. Remarkable. And they're fantastic that way because every month, every other month, I see a major update on that. Fair. So they're fair. great. They just keep enhancing your noting now, experience. Now, this is something I, I guess any any person who follows tech knows that when you have one dedicated device and when your entire focus is on that one device, mm -hmm. you create a fantastic product. Agreed. Uh, I think that that's kind of what happens with Remarkable. Um, that is also where this would lose out because then this brings me to the conversation of tablets. Mm -hmm. If tablets are so awesome, why right. didn't they become the standard? Fair you enough. know what I mean? Fair so it really would come down to a person now for example me at all times i have a phone or i have my laptop at on most in most cases which then would render this Absolutely. a note taking device Absolutely. where the remarkable would exactly. win Absolutely. so my phone's it's, always with me yeah. right whether or if i have the remarkable or not my phone's always with it's me. it's it's one of those things where um, when you purchase a device like this, and it's not like this is cheaper, by the way, it's, it is adding a significant more on the price, but it is, it's one of those things where you end up, you have to be sure from the get-go that this yes. can be a middle device for you. So I have, um, in a few occasions, I have walked around with it, like mm -hmm. with the only thing in my hand for this. I've, I've done a bit of checking on the mails and stuff like that. Yes, I don't have all my apps on this because this is a Huawei tablet at the end of the day. Sure. But um, but yes, if yeah. someone's looking to buy this, they should be very sure of all the purposes it serves. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Having said that, Remarkable could use some improvements okay. as well. The one thing that I miss a lot from my iPad days of note okay. taking is there is no microphone on here. So when you, I would love to record the audio right. while I'm taking notes, right. whether it's a class right. lecture or anything at all. And I'm, it doesn't have that capability. Yeah, that is a huge thing yeah. to miss out because that's something that I have on my iPad Absolutely. all the time. As Absolutely. soon as I'm in doing an interview or talking to someone yep. and taking notes, totally. that feature is I on. I miss that. I really um, miss that. That either. would be something cool. Uh, if someone from Remarkable is watching this, Remarkable 3 with mics, please. Maybe there's a hidden mic somewhere that I don't know how. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> they keep coming up with software updates. The next thing you know is version <laughs> 4 has a mic uh, option in there. There's a hidden mic in there. <laughs> so this video wasn't really necessary. Um, they do, they technically do serve two very different purposes, but somewhere in that Venn diagram of tablets and note taking, they do there is a crossover. And yeah, I mean, if look, you're primarily looking for note taking, yeah. then I'd still say this is the device to go to. Right. Again, for me, this makes more sense because my phone's always with me. Okay. So for everything else, I could use my mm. phone or my laptop when I'm, you know, close to my office or right. my home. But if that's not the case for you, if you want something that does more than just note taking, right. 
something like that would so, make more sense. For me, I'll tell you what, I agree with you. But the point that just just won't let me cross over mm -hmm. is the cost. Fair enough. That price, price yes. that price is just, I'm, I'm just like... The price for that single utility it offers. Yeah, for that single utility, for me personally, I just can't cross that barrier. I'd rather spend a little money and have this where I can have the extra features if I want yeah. or not. Fair enough. Uh, that single utali utilitarianism, Fair uh, enough. that just doesn't work Absolutely. for me. Absolutely, and in full disclosure, this was sent to us by Remarkable. Yeah. Having said that, I would have purchased this. Fair. Yeah. In full disclosure, this was sent to, my, sent to us by Huawei. I don't know if I would have purchased this because I already have an iPad. But without that, there, it, it does hold a strong chance. Yeah. Um, but yeah, on the overall, uh, let us know what you guys think. Don't forget to watch the last video because there's a lot that we covered in terms of the e-ink um, entire mm -hmm. ecosystem that's building. That. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so just check that out. Let us know your thoughts. But until next time. Absolutely. This is Abba signing out. And hey, if you've got a device that is neither this nor that, let us know which oh, it is. Oh, definitely. And maybe we could potentially test yeah, it out against yeah, their yeah, yeah. And, if, you know, if we're wrong on both ends, yeah, yeah let us know. For All sure. right. But otherwise, thank you very much. My name is Danish and we'll see you at the next one.